Hi there, um, this is Sheila Kumar Hay of Ecstatic Birth, kicking off a free training and Q&A series. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm an ecstatic birth advocate and trainer. I support women in having empowering, enjoyable birth experiences using pleasure as a holistic birthing tool to support their flow. And I also um, train birth practitioners to bring this work to their clients so that women can begin to enjoy childbirth rather than simply endure it. Now. Hold on a second. If you're not, um, if you're not an expected mom, I invite you here because this session is actually this entire series is for all women. What we're going to be talking about is how the birthing process really relates to our own process as we're bringing forth our creations into this world, as we are rebirthing ourselves and globally, as the feminine is now in the midst of a major rebirth. So um, this is really meant for all women, whether you're pregnant, whether you're a birth practitioner, whether you're a woman devoted to the rising feminine on the planet, welcome. I'm happy that you're here. And um, this is really uh, an introduction. And so what I want to do this time is just let you know a little bit more about me and the work that I'm doing. And I also invite you at any point, just say hi in the comments if you have uh, anything that you specifically want me to address over the next few sessions, please put that in there and we'll talk about it today in the Q&A portion, but we'll also, um, you know, I'll also address it specifically in another, in another session as is appropriate. So, um, this past summer, I introduced my first course, um, my first new course in a while. It was called Ecstatic Birthing for Goddesses, and this course was really for women who wanted to learn about the feminine cycle of creation using birth as a blueprint. So what the heck does that mean? <laughs> well, in the last eight years of working with women to support them in preparing for birth, um, a lot of the things that we would, we would work on were actually life skills. They were actually growth skills. They were actually happiness skills. They were actually skills to enhance their uh, sensual well-being in the world. And so, um, I started to see these patterns when I was preparing women for birth that were not only relevant for the physical act of childbirth, but were really relevant to birthing anything. So, you know, friends of mine that have birthed uh, books or projects or, you know, even many women that I've worked with that have rebirthed themselves along the way, because in every birth, there's also that rebirth of the mother. The woman becomes a mother. She's rebirthing herself in that process. So in teaching this class um, and really flowing through the feminine cycle of creation with the students, we've started to notice so many patterns in the world at large related to the rebirth of the divine feminine, related to the intensity that we are witnessing uh, in so many parts of the world right now. We just saw um, recently with, uh, with the appointment of Kavanaugh here in the U.S. and uh, the Me Too movement and, and all of this intensity that's really coming forward in a very big way on the planet. Um, these moments of intensity can be seen as contractions, right? So when you're in labor, the, you know, labor is marked by um, an alternating series of contractions and then expansions. You have a contraction that's very intense and your body's doing this work to expand and to open. And then there's on the other side of that, there's um, that period of rest, that period of bliss when your body's kind of reconvening. And that's what we all want. But we really, as a culture, are trying to avoid our contractions. We numb our contractions. We avoid them. We disassociate. And um, we, you know, even in the birthing world, there are movements to rename contractions into something else, to kind of uh, rename them to, to be able to relate to them in a different way. But here's the thing. Contractions are actually not a bad thing. So those moments of intensity that you're experiencing, whether you're in physical labor or you're in the labor of your life, in the flow of your own rebirth, those contractions are the work that your body has to do to grow, to expand, to open, to become who you need to be to birth your baby. And so what we're seeing right now globally is the labor of the feminine, that process of the feminine going through these contractions and expansions in order to rebirth herself here on the planet. So in line with that, I, I, uh, I will be doing a series of um, 
trainings and Q&A series, I'll be sharing some of the tools and practices that I bring forth in my um, Ecstatic Birthing for Goddesses program, as well as some of the things I do with my birthing mamas to help them navigate these moments of intensity with pleasure and return back to a place of flow. Because what happens when you're in a contraction, usually the knee-jerk reaction is you, you literally physically contract literally you're freezing up your energy flow you're freezing up your blood flow you're freezing up your entire process so everything has to work much harder to get to the next level so what we're going to be working on in this series is really that connecting to your body being able to identify when you're in a in a contracted moment and how to get yourself back into that expansive that open flow where you can move forward so um if you are a woman on this planet, you are most likely continually rebirthing yourself. And that's a big part of what's happening now globally is as women as a whole are rebirthing what it means to be feminine, what it means to be a woman on the planet, what it means to show up in our full, fierce feminine power. So I will be doing these series. I. I'm going to put a link below this video if you would like to get a reminder uh, to connect before I go live. I'll send you out a reminder. And um, please, if you're watching this at any point and there are questions that you have in relation to this topic, please do put them in the comment box. I'll be monitoring it and incorporating it into the work I do going forward. Now, my regular slot for these uh, trainings is Thursdays at 12 30 p.m. Eastern time but as I said over the next couple of weeks I'm really going to be coming on live pretty spontaneously as often as I feel called to share this work because it is so relevant it is so important and really like we all we all have that desire for this elevation for a better experience as we're moving through our life as we're creating what it is that we're here to create so I invite you to join me and as I said, um, when I post this live video, there should be a link in the comment box to help you, you know, connect and get reminders along the way. So thank you for watching and I look forward to any feedback you have at any point.